Hi, Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts here. Uh, we're doing a rebuild on this Rochester Monojet one barrel carburetor. Uh, in a previous video we disassembled the carburetor. Uh, then I cleaned it and uh, now we're getting ready to put it back together. Uh, one thing I want to mention that after you clean it uh, you want to blow everything out real good. Clean it with mineral spirits or carburetor cleaner, whatever. Uh, just be sure you uh, wash it all out with hot water when you're done. Uh, get all the chemicals off. Almost everything reacts with ethanol. So uh, you want to be sure and get all the chemicals out of it. Um, get yourself a fine piece of wire and run it down through all of the little uh, holes and tubes. Ethanol will leave deposits behind just like corrosion. So you want to be sure and knock all that stuff loose. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I had this. I forgot to take this out and disassemble the little jet that goes in here in the bottom of your uh, pump well. I don't know if all the mono jets have it or not. <coughs> Uh, if you're, you don't have one in there, obviously you don't need it. Okay. Um, okay, so we, uh, we put our accelerator pump together and uh, to do that, let me uh, take this back apart. Most kits, uh, at least our kits, uh, come with just the uh, cup. Uh, there's no reason to change the whole pump uh, when they have a replaceable cup like this. And we have a, in our kit, we have this little tool here. Uh, you put it on there. You can spray a little silicon uh, spray lubricant on it if you want, and then just take the uh, cup and just run it up there like that. There you go. Simple as that. <coughs> put your delay spring on there. And then our little retainer clip to hold it all together, like so. Okay, that's it. Now, important, these are very thin. Um, people get these rolled up real easy. Oh, don't forget our uh, return spring that goes down in there first. Okay, and when you put this in there, uh, be very careful you don't roll it up. If you do, it's going to ruin it or tear it. Um, if you tore yours, that's probably why. Um, probably some little uh, piece of wood to help poke it down there would be good. Yeah, I can see where it rolled up already. Okay. There we go. If it's not rolled up, it'll go up and down real easy. All right. So uh, what I want to do here real quick is uh, check, I'm going to test my uh, main discharge. When your pump goes down, it pushes fluid up through here, through your main discharge. And we're going to test that here. Uh, first of all, we're going to put a little uh, mineral spirits in here. We can't put too much because uh, it'll just leak out where the uh, inlet goes. But we, get, we can get enough of it in here to uh, do what we need to do. This will ensure that we got things right. We don't have anything plugged because it's a common problem to have the accelerator pump uh, not work right. Okay, so you see, all I have to do is pump a little bit, and it pushes up fluid through there. All right, that's what we want with nothing in there. Now let's put our check ball in there. Our check ball is to uh, block it off, and uh, let's see. Now be sure you use a brass drift punch for this. Now I'm just going to hold, gently hold the, the check ball down, and when I do that and I try to pump, I'm going to feel pressure, okay? And I'm not going to get a lot of fluid out, so you got to let go, the fluid comes out. So if you get a lot of fluid out, it's not seated good, uh, just take your, uh, be sure you use brass, and uh, just tap it a few times your hammer, and it'll form um, a good seal down there. Uh, don't hit it too hard, you get stuck in there and never get it back out again. Alright, so that's the name of that tune. So now i got to I gotta go get rid of this fluid. I'll be right back. Okay, I got the fluid out. Uh, now that we have our main discharge uh, tested, uh, the check balls are in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put things together here. We'll put our spring in. Uh, we have a little T that goes in the top, and they usually go in uh, hard enough that uh, they'll stay in. Just tap it in there. 
if you have to peen it over a little bit you can but uh, remember the top and the gas is going to hold it down so uh, that spring is is to hold that check ball down um, except when it puts pressure on it you're running the accelerator pump it's going to push it up off the seat okay so there we go all right so let's get our return spring back in there and uh, we'll get our accelerator pump back well actually before we do that let's uh, let's put our throttle body on here we have uh, two gaskets that came with a kit so I just want to make sure I have the right one uh, this one's pretty simple because it's got three holes here and we only need two and this one's two holes so uh, just want to be sure that nothing's hanging over so air can get in it because uh, that's a common place for an air leak um, Okay. Okay. Uh, these bind up a lot, it seems like, on these mono jets, and you'll get an air leak through here. So uh, just be aware of that when you're putting it together. Uh, usually, what I'll do is uh, I get these screws snugged up. Okay, I right, bang on a little bit, make sure it's seated good before I get it all tightened up down. I mentioned this because uh, I had that problem one time. And after I got it all done, I had a vacuum leak. And it was that. All right, so one thing I want to mention here, um, there's a little uh, bushing that goes in here. This one was in good shape, so I didn't even bother with it. Uh, but you can see the, the metal is peened over a little bit to hold it down in there. If yours is missing or, or cracked or anything, you just want to replace it. Uh, I, I believe we have them available. Uh, just take an awl and uh, get this excess metal out and, and then uh, this, this will finally come out. And uh, it does need to be there. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's throw the main jet in here. And incidentally, uh, you don't need to change your jet unless you have a reason to, uh, altitude or some such thing as that. Uh, your jet, it's important to get your main jet dialed in correctly so you don't ruin your engine. You get it too lean or too rich, uh, both of them will ruin your engine. So I do have instructions on my site on how to dial in your jets. Uh, but if you've been running on the car and everything's fine, your spark plugs are gray, uh, you're probably good to go. Alright, we'll get our return spring in there for accelerator pump. I'm going to carefully get our pump in there again without rolling it up. And as, as I mentioned before, it's very easy to do with this. And uh, the mineral spirits did not help. There we go. Alright, just take your time. Uh, it, it, it'll go up, if it's not rolled up, it'll go up and down real real easy like. Uh, so there we go. And uh, that goes in there like a so. And uh, what I think is the hardest part to get together on this whole thing is, uh, is this right here, our linkage. So get it all together uh, started like this. Okay, this one goes on the back side started. Uh, there's no tit on this end. This one has a tit on each end, but it goes just like that. Okay, and uh, we're going to get it fished in here, started on our accelerator pump. We can let our pump go, and that'll hold that in there. Okay, yeah, and we'll just leave that alone. Uh, these things here, when they're worn, they tend to fall out a lot. You can put a little piece of tape on there to hold it in there just while you're trying to get it together. This one's in pretty good shape, so I think we'll be all right. I'm going to get our power piston in here. Power piston assembly. Uh, make sure I'm getting on the video. Okay, so spring goes in the hole first. Okay, uh, this has to go in here. 
and it's going to slip in right here, the top right in there in the piston. And that's what's going to leverage the piston up and down. Okay, so you want to watch your mirror and rod that it goes into your uh, jet and not get bent. Uh, these little springs, I'm trying to see if I can get these uh, in case they get lost. They just slide on there, no big deal. I usually don't even take them off. All right, so now we're going to have to hold that down a little bit and uh, get this turned a little bit. What we want to do is get that fished in there in the hole like so. Okay. And just by pushing down on our, you need three hands, pushing down on our pump, we'll get this lined up, get it over on its spline. There, just like so. It looks easy, truth be known, I, this is about the fourth time I've tried to put this little piece on here. Every time I do one of these, I have to try it over and over again. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Okay. Okay. So, what we have now, that's the way it looks when it's all together. And that's the movement you want. Okay. So when you open the throttle, you'll watch your accelerator pump move down. Okay. You see a little bit of fluid trying to come out of there. So that's what it's supposed to do. Um, and when you let up, the well will... Uh, um, fill up through this slot here uh, for the next go around and uh, <clears throat> when it is pulled up that's the purpose of the check ball the check ball sets down and and the vacuum from your engine is not going to pull fluid through there while it's trying to fill up your your well so that's why it's important for this part to be working right to be uh, seated like like I was talking about All right. so at the same time when you open uh, up your throttle your power piston is pushed up and it pulls the metering rod out of your jet and allows more fuel to, to flow through your circuits. Um, keep in mind that these jets do not fit tight, or excuse me, the metering rod does not fit tight into the jet. Uh, they're fairly loose. They're not supposed to plug it off completely. If it did, it wouldn't run. Uh, they're just fill up the hole a little bit, certain depending on what size jet you are. So you have, excuse me. Uh, so I get a lot of calls. My, it, it, it's not right. Uh, my metering rod is just so loose in there. Well, it's supposed to be loose, so don't get excited. All right, so there we go. And then we're going to get our needle and seat, put it on. We have a new bite and tip needle. Sure, you keep this clean. It only takes a speck of dirt in there to uh, uh, make your uh, needle nut seat, and then you have a flooding situation. When you have flooding too much fuel, it's all about this right here. It's all about too much fuel coming in through your needle and seat. So whether your float is leaking or you forgot you put your gasket on here or uh, uh, under, under some circumstances uh, it's cracked here and, uh, and allows fuel in through here uh, you know their needle is to shut the fuel off um, we got this little clip um, stick it on your needle like that we'll put this in a little bit later uh, but that clip will uh, clip onto the float and when the float comes up it'll help pull that needle out of the carburetor Alright, so I gotta take a break here for a minute and get situated uh, onto the next part. Thank you.